What are you doing, Hurley? We're having Daddy fix the lights. Yeah? What lights are these? The barn lights. Barn lights? Watch. Do they work? Mm-hmm. Look. Okay, show me. Click it. What? What did you do? Mm, I did everything. Yeah. <laughs> You're watching Hurley Films. What's up, everybody? It's another beautiful day out here at the farm. And you're like, why are you talking to us in the truck and not like out about doing something? Well, I'll show you here in a second. But today is the beginning, the start of the weekend. And we've got things that we've got to get done on the house so it can start getting more close to civilization. Um, so, uh, let me just tell you before we get outside, I've got a power hammer and we have got to get through the foundation over there, uh, to be able to run that pipe for the, uh, for the power to the, panel that's on the outside wall um, and so that's got to happen the second thing that's got to happen this weekend is we've got to get a power washer which we still don't have water but I've got a solution I think um, but we've we've got to get a power washer out here so we can spray off the side of the house so they can paint it because there's painters out here and I'll take you inside and show you what's going on here in just a second but we've got things to do and I'm not sure exactly what we'll get done, but we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it the old college try. So let me get out of the truck now and show you why I'm talking to you in the truck. I don't know if you can tell by the beard, but we have a constant 30 mile an hour wind. Ooh. How's everybody doing? I am doing my best to uh, catch us up here with what's going on currently um, because I just don't, I don't like things piling up like this. So I wanna try to get these things out to you guys as soon as I can. And this project right here was a beast, <laughs> cutting through. Uh, man, I'm just figuring out more and more that I'm kind of cheap, uh, and I don't know if that's a good thing. I, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but I went and borrowed that uh, jackhammer from a friend uh, and cut through all the concrete with it, and it was a chore. So was messing with this cable. Okay, I am a little bit frustrated. I don't know what I expected. I mean, this, like I've said before, that big cable, it does not like to cooperate. I've tried two ideas so far. One, which is threading, threading the cable all the way on and then trying to fish the cable up and in. But since it rained and it kind of backfilled all that, sp that stuff, I don't really have a lot of leeway. And then so I tried to put the pipe on and just run it up through the pipe and I got one of those wires in and then just got the half second one halfway up. So that that's not going to work. So I've got one more idea, which is like a mixture of both. I'll run the cables up the pipe when it's loose to where the cables are just kind of like you know, sticking out maybe about an inch and a half, two inches, just something small. And then try to force the pipes through, or the stuff the rest of the way through the pipe. I guess I could have made it a little easier by getting a three inch pipe, but I just didn't want to have a big three inch pipe hanging off the side of like, a two inch pipe is bigger than what I'd want hanging off the side of the house, so. All right, break time over. Last idea, and if that's not gonna work, then I'm just gonna need an extra set of hands to get this done. So, 
Goodness gracious. All right, last idea. You guys have heard me talk about my good friend who's an electrician, um, and I could at any point call him and just say, hey, can you come hook up my panel for me because I'm over my head? But there's just something kind of about the personal challenge of it, especially when you get into it, that it's hard to stop. Um, This was one of those moments where I just about threw in the towel and called him and said, I can't do this. I need some help. But I persevered. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's like wrestling an anaconda on steroids. We'll get this wrapped up. We'll probably buy some breakers tonight. That way we can get all this stuff buttoned up and ready. Man. All right. See you tomorrow. I'll probably have him come do the actual final panel hookup just because, one, I think I'll feel a little bit safer that way, and my, my Casey will definitely feel safer that way. Um, but it, it, I just need to do it. I just need to let him do it. And now, um, now we're into cabinet land. Uh, these are cabinets that we purchased from a company called rtastore.com. And like I've told you guys on previous videos, they have sales that go on throughout the year. Um, at 4th of July, Memorial Day, Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving. I mean, they're all different times of the year. But the little insider scoop that we were told is that they have their biggest sales of the year on 4th of July. So, 4th of July came, and we had all of our cabinets specced out and ready to go, for the most part. <laughs> You'll see that in later videos. But, we had everything specced out and ready to go, so we knew exactly what we needed to get. And we ordered it all, and we got our cabinets basically at 40% off. These cabinets are by no means like custom cabinetry. They are not super duper high quality. But, they are way better than what you can get at a box store. I'll just say that. They are, I guess I would call them a mid-tier grade, if not maybe a little better. What's up guys, we're out. Oh my gosh. Oh crap. <laughs> just kidding, right? Yeah, we got a controlled burn going on. You guys have seen me build the cabinets, but we just looked out, Joe and I, my helper. Say hi, Joe. Hi. My helper is uh, we gotta go check out the fire because Uncle Austin did a thing. All right, hold on, Joe. Looks like Uncle and Austin and, and Pop Pop, we have a little rain and like no wind today and we've got all these brush piles that we gotta get burned down. So it looks like they're taking advantage of it. <laughs> this is gonna be one of probably three we need to get burned off today. So this is, I can feel the heat through the truck. Oh, that feels nice. All of this was completely full of cedar trees and some other real junky trees, a couple like really yucky elm trees. And we piled it all up right here and it is going. That cedar tree is crazy. On the other side of the dam, that's the other big pile that we need to do. And then down there, you can't see it, but it's right right here behind this hill did you do a thing yeah we need some more rain it was raining pretty good a second ago and they kind of stopped oh, the ambers are live coming down those kids are catching them they burned me austin just got his house spray foamed let's go show you the the inside of austin's house real quick There you go, Austin's been spray foamed. There it is, this is this is open cell. So you've seen me talk about closed cell. Open, you can see how much more soft it is. If you wanted to poke your finger all the way in there, you could. And uh, so like, he's got one inch of closed and four inches of open. So it gives him a vapor barrier and it also gives him a good uh, insulation, a good R value. Hurley. Tank, Titan, and Josie over in the sand pile playing. 
because that's what sand is for. This one may burn a little slower. The big, yeah, okay. <laughs> the big pile has been lit. Doing the fires felt nice. Like it was a departure from the mundane, just craziness that was doing stuff for the house and just getting to kind of spend some time with the kids and throw stuff into the fire and just have a good time. It was it was good to get away from, from that other stuff for a little while. And the fire was, my neighbor actually called me, who is a firefighter, and said, Please tell me that's not your house. <laughs> Woo! Let's go down there and get Tank's perspective. He's down here by the fire. It's pretty hot. Oh, boys and fire. Uh, there's just something about <laughs> having to throw sticks in, which we had this giant ice storm right before this, so there were plenty of sticks on the ground. So the kids, especially the boys, Josie got tired of it, but the boys could not get enough of throwing sticks into the fire. That's burning great. Feels good to finally have this stuff cleaned up. We've still got a ton of branches we got to clean up from that recent ice storm we had. But we should go over there and check on the other fire, see how it's going. So we've got the first fire we started here. It's burning out. The second one, this is the big one. It's still burning. And then here's the third one down here. There's the house house is up there in the shop where we were building the cabinets. Scorched earth. <laughs> so we had some cedar trees that were close. They did not fare so well. Good. I'm glad. Now I got another fire down here. Oh, I gotta get... <coughs> I gotta get out of smoke. My eyes are burning. What'd you say? Can we go get marshmallows for the fire now? It got smaller. Yeah. How close can you get to that fire? I want to see. So pretend you got a marshmallow. How are you going to roast it? Where are you going to go? I want to see. Yep, there we go. All right. Oh, yeah, there's the burn. How are you going to be able to do it like that? You can't even see what you're smoking. See through your shirt? Oh, man. Oh, I can barely stand here and film you. Man. They always come in the mist. They always take their heads. Name that movie. I'll say the line one more time. They always take their heads. They always come in the mist. They always take their heads. Name that movie. We'll go over here and check out our other fire. <laughs> Smoke inhalation. All right, the fires are out there burning, and I'm just kind of peeking my head out and checking on them every now and then. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to going on these cabinets. And these cabinets, I'm not going to lie, I've been a little disappointed with them. Um, I've been disappointed, but then I've also been pleasantly surprised with them. So, um, this hardware is just those little spin uh, grappling hardware pieces, and they they tend to break a lot, um, which is why you've seen me squirting in that uh, construction adhesive um, on every one of those joints, just in case that gives out, then there's kind of a backup system for it, that way I just, I don't want like a face frame to fall off of our cabinet. Um, but outside of that, the construction of them is really good. I mean, they're all 
plywood. There's not a piece of fiberboard on the cabinet. So that is a plus. So that's one of the main reasons that I ordered them. I'm just very disappointed with the quality of the uh, hardware that holds everything together, which we ordered two colors. So these black ones are for the lowers in the kitchen. And we have whites for uppers in the kitchen. Uh, and then we have white cabinets throughout the rest of the house, in the bathrooms, and in uh, the laundry room. So, uh, so yeah, this uh, overall, I would say it's okay, uh, but it does leave some, some to be desired. They do come with all soft clothes Hinge, or all soft close hinges and all soft close drawer slides, which is really nice. Um, it's kind of the luxury feature of them. But these are those cabinets that we got at half price, or not half price, but at a big discount because we waited for the 4th of July sale and they've been sitting here in the shop ever since we got the concrete done. Um, so now we have painters in the house and we're at a point where Cabinets need to start getting built. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten built, and I've got somewhere in the ballpark of maybe fifteen left. So not that many to go. Just need to get the nose down and do it. So Casey's out here with us this weekend. So after we eat dinner. Um, which the kids just ate dinner and got put to bed and I'm about to go back across the street and get some dinner after that I'll hang out with Casey for a little bit and then I might just kind of pull a late night come out here for a couple hours and see if I can get a few of these built because then you know Casey's in bed the kids are in bed no one's waiting on me it's a nice time to get it done it's quiet so anyway time lapse so I won't say a lot about the cabinets themselves other than they they make kind of a push of advertisement to make it look like, oh, just get the cabinets and put them together and they're done. And that's just not the case. That's the only thing that probably bothers me about these cabinets more than anything is that if, if I didn't have experience putting cabinets together from scratch, there would be some points that I would have no idea what to do next. And that's something that they don't really advertise on their website. And that's not something they advertise in the, well, the instructions themselves are like non-existent. So that's also something to be leery about. Um, but if you are relatively handy and if you know sort of how cabinets work or can just watch a YouTube video to figure out a problem, these cabinets are a great option for pretty much anybody. Um, they really are a good quality. I was I was kind of frustrated with them at this point because these black ones, I was putting them, putting them together and I had just started to kind of get in the groove of how to uh, get the hardware to not snap off every time because it is, it's just very cheap, cheaply made. But if you're very patient with it and the uh, projects level construction adhesive was very good at kind of making it slippery, but also giving it some extra structural support. That really helped it. So if you have no idea how to build cabinets, just, just know that this is not like a walk in the park kind of thing. It takes a little bit of work. And this shot was kind of when I was leaving to go back to go to bed and the fire was smoldering. It was just like, oh, I have to get a cool shot of this. And then this, <laughs> again, trying to catch you guys up, we had the baby shower, or I guess they called it a sprinkle, and uh, it was the COVID-19 sprinkle for the baby donut-themed party. But we had a bunch of people drive by in cars and get us presents and diapers and things, and then we also got Hurley and Josie 
some big brother, big sister presents. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A big sister princess dress and a big brother dino. What is that, Harley? It's a dino horse dino. Ooh. A big sister dress. So I hate Josie, this. Josie, I think there's something else in there. Josie, that's so pretty. Huh? I think there's something else in there, too. Awesome. I'm going to get some you? What are you the most excited about for to be a big sister? <laughs> the baby. What are you going to teach the baby? Um, <laughs> don't. Where'd you, where'd you put it? Do the tour in you. Like I did it today with the scissors. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What are you excited to play with the baby? Her. Play dress up with her. She'll love it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it for this one. And I'll have another compilation video coming out after this one, trying to catch us up to what's going on currently. Um, but if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Or if you don't, thumbs down, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, all of the YouTube things. And I will see you guys on the next video.